Hello YouTube, Da Breezy here, or Breezy for short, and I'm gonna show you how to download StarCraft 2 beta, including the offline launcher, to play against bots, computers. For now, the online mode is currently unavailable, but it will be soon. Now, um, to download the launcher, you can download directly from any site. I will give you a link no wait I will give you a link for uTorrent because that's what I did but you could do it directly from any other site but I recommend using uTorrent because when you go to the Pirate Bay or any other uTorrent you can click on seeds and they have a lot of seeds on the client it is so much I was downloading 2.0 and higher down speed and I downloaded in like 10 minutes especially for a large file like that that is pretty impressive so I recommend you to it and um, before we get started I want you guys to go to control panel and look for folder options go to view highlight show hidden files folders and drives the reason why I'm saying this to do this because um, some people can't find certain folders in this tutorial and where to place certain things anyways here I am gonna get started so go to what the hell oh yeah that's right I was supposed to get my SSL hours um so I can work anyways um you first go to darkblaze.org then hop into forums then go to SC2 all in one yeah look for that scroll the way down and go to this link cause they have move the uh, move it to an, a new official site so what you guys gonna wanna do when you get here is download latest save file then scroll the way down and download this official lattice map phase 2 RAR open or save and then extract to, to somewhere you would find it now click on the launchers for dummies scroll all the way down and shit the fuck am I doing here again oh yeah that's right click on this alright click on that click on this link cache download it and you'll end up to the site download the latest cache update which is this da 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 okay open or save and extract to where you can find it I put it on my desktop where I could find it easily and now I am gonna step you through downloading and installing wait installing wait where is it alright always do the latest one as you can see I had a few here um, and always run everything in this process run as administrator okay by the way guys I'm gonna put all the download links in here so or links to download alright so run as administrator then you're gonna want to do this right click on it the shortcut that you've been given go to compatibility and highlight run this program as administrator because you're gonna have to do it every time or else you're gonna have problems alright now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is install your cache alright for Windows 7 users I this is Windows 7 and Vista. This is um this is where you guys should be able to find your cache a and with the directory and install it. So go to program data. As you can see that folder was faded. That's why I um, did that control panel thing in the beginning. So go to battle.net replace or place cache in there so copy and paste there 
What the fuck? Alright. So once you're done with that, exit out. Go to... Shit. Yeah, fuck. Hang on. <laughs> I have to look at the thing real quick. Alright. Program data. Yeah, yeah. User. Username. Okay, yeah, that's right. I remember now. My bad. Alright, so um, go to your username. And go to shit again oh wait app data local blizzard entertainment battle.net and place your cache there remember you could always go to the site and look at it so once that is done now the next thing to do is have your maps ready for you. Oh shit! This was my last game. Okay, okay, okay. Oh shit! Oh wait, what? The, what the fuck? Oh, let me restart it. All right, all right. Okay, let's go. So, what you're gonna want to do is go and add maps. Click on add maps. Go to the directory where your maps is. Click on it. Press OK there you go now I'm gonna run through this um, real quick because people will be having problems when you select your map and let's say if you only want to do three players okay close everything else that you're not using and the next thing is never have anything on random because you will have problems you will run into problems and people have been asking on forums what this is alright some people might just be slow sorry about that but check it out this is saying which player gets to start off with a number of resources alright let's say I'm first player I'll put my resources to the max or you could put it as a computer so you can have them be hard as shit even though there's no need to because they can be hard as shit on or insane Insanely a f fucking dick. Yeah, they're real. They're real assholes when you have them on insane. Okay, so anyways, pretty much this is it. Subscribe, rate, comment. Oh wait, 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 shit! You can't rate, like, like my video. Yeah, oh hell yeah, you know you like this shit. Okay, but anyways, see you later and um, bye YouTube. Oh fuck! Wait, what's going on? Oh yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Oh wait, one more thing. For Windows XP users and Ubuntu or anybody else, please visit um, the website for a guide through on this bec because this, oh, what the fuck, okay, I only have Windows 7, you get it, bye.